All right, all right. So here is the update that I've done to the Otter Resort Vertex. <clears throat> Sorry, Otter Resort Vortex. Uh, it's definitely, it's insulated. Use it last year. And then I wanted to do a DIY conversion for a hot tent slash ice hut uh, heating source or elk camp or just any kind of camping with the family. So, this one right here. <laughs> so as you can see, I installed a stove jack on a spare window. And down here, I'm using the titanium light outdoors, uh, 18 inch cylinder stove. Um, this stove goes with my Cimarron. Um, seek outside Cimarron. So I didn't want to, I like keeping stuff together. So I'm getting a new stove, the Palm Ali, uh, one of the Palm Ali stoves that has glass front and glass sides so I can see the fire uh, in the, within the firebox. Let's uh, take a look inside. I got my glove on because this door is hot. And you can see we are throwing out some heat for sure. And uh, close that back up. Open that full steam so I can get full, full blast heat. I'm trying to burn it hot and quick. So I installed this, like a almost like a welding blanket, a welding blanket material to protect this back surface. I was a little worried. Oop, there we go. I was a little worried on. Uh, if uh, it was gonna distort or warp that plastic. I also made these gaskets out of uh, high temp uh, baking sheets. And as you can see, I'm doing it here in the driveway slash garage because it's about as big a space as I can get it out. Um, I've been too cramped on the backyard with all the stuff we got going on back there and definitely couldn't do it in the front with all the Christmas decorations out. So we got that going on. It's putting out some heat, definitely. Uh, I was going to burn some more wood, but I'm, that's going to be the last last piece I, let, I burn in there. It's hot enough. Um, my fear was this back piece really heating up but it's actually it's doing fine it's doing really fine and i'm wondering if the the heat is starting to calm down in there in the stove because earlier it was raging but then again too the sun was kind of out and the sun was beating on this back of the shelter so it was a little warm but now this plastic is actually cool. This is a little wonky right here. And I'm wondering if the heat did distort that a little bit. It may have. It may have distorted a little bit, but it's actually holding up. The temperatures outside is cooling down. So the actual fabric of the of this back panel here, earlier it was pretty warm, but I think combination of the the outside, the sun that was beaming on here, now it got a little cloudy. Combination of that with the heat was definitely cooking. Um, like I said, I have everything opened up because it got way too hot in here. So that's what we got going on. It looks like it's gonna work out pretty good. Um, if this wasn't gonna work out, I was just gonna say screw it and install that jack right here on the roof. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to put an actual hole in my hut. Not yet. Um, I might pick up the Otter Mega. It's basically two hubs side to side or back to back. 
it makes a huge like a 12 by 12 i think that's when i might put the stove on the roof and uh use that more of a base camp type thing but like right now this is working pretty good it's holding up so i'm gonna let that piece burn out and i'm not gonna add any more wood but uh there's the stack you can't really tell but it's hot it's it's throwing out some heat right now this thing is working out all right actually i I cut this a little bit too big. I should have went the not notch ahead of, uh, above that. Um, but these are replaceable, like 30 bucks on Amazon or something. Um, this template, this little gasket's holding up pretty good too. I was a little worried about that, but uh, it's holding up. Like I said, it's definitely, it's, it's putting out some heat for sure. You can hear it sizzling down the pipe. And like I said, this thing is base. It's it's super light. It 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 goes with my uh, titan. Uh, I'm sorry, my Seek Outside Cimarron. Um, so it's gonna go back in that kit for backcountry or backpacking, ultra lightweight. And I'm actually gonna get a, a Palmoli uh, pop Palmoli titanium stove with the uh, glass door and one or two glass sides so i can actually see the fire and it's going to sit a little bit higher i know that it's going to sit higher um i don't know if the box is going to be about the same size that's an 18 inch cylinder stove um i know they make two stoves in their lineup that are 18 inch and i want to get as a big the biggest box as possible so i don't have to worry about as far as when it comes to wood i can basically purchase wood and take it with me with that and that fits like the, the wood i have now is the wood that I purchased and then it fits you know easily uh, when we we purchase all our firewood for the backyard um, right now it's starting to throw some smoke because I think it's starting to uh, calm down a bit so we are going to check it out uh, I'm gonna sit here for a minute let it do its thing I'm gonna start cleaning the garage and uh, go from there and then pack this thing up but yeah it's it's working out pretty good so that's it right there she's a winner right now for sure so thanks for watching